Thank you, Trang. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and even good night to our friends that are from the Pacific. What a great day. We have been planning for this event, I say we. Young people were planning for this event for a time, and to be part of it is so amazing. There is a, a say in French, to say, le futur appartient à ceux qui se lèvent tôt. If I translate it literally, future belongs to those who wake up earlier. But the real translation is the future belongs to those who prepare themselves for it. This is how I summarize this first day of this summit. We can choose to look at the gloomy part of our world today. We can allow ourselves to be depressed and discouraged. The future of work is very uncertain. But we also heard that there's a lot of opportunity. We can be paralyzed to know that 250 million jobs have been destroyed by COVID. But YMCA and its partners, we have decided to look at the 150 million jobs to be created in the next five years. This is where we stand. We are looking on this opportunity. 150 million jobs, this is for you. Our commitment is to make our institutions, the YMCA and all the big six organizations and all their partners, Generation Unlimited, all the partners who join us, the University of San Francisco, all of them. We want to be a place you call home where you can find inspiration and the motivation and also the resources to positively influence the path to the decent and sustainable job. I heard today in one of the panels that the future of work is the future of education. That was a quote from Alice Marshall from the Geneva Graduate Institute. The future of work is the future of education. I also heard from uh, Marco Tavanti that lifelong learning is what is at stake today. And we pledge as a YMCA together with our partner to be your partner in this journey for lifelong learning, to embrace the technical and this digital divide. We need to do it together. Reskilling and upskilling, all those words are very important. Education or the degree, I also heard, is the key to the door. But you need to find the right key to go to the right door. But the reality today is so different that we can only take our own part. The voice of the young people is so important for us to hear those voices. And we need to change our education system and to redefine the role the young people are playing. So, dear friends, this is the beginning of the journey. I'd like to invite you to continue to invest your time to learn for a new opportunity. And the, one of the most impactful words I hear today is also, make your own future. Make your own future. But does not come by chance. It comes from seizing the opportunity. And this summit is a way for you to find those opportunities. Make your own future, change the status quo. Yes, you can change the status quo. Make sure that you can have access to decent job and sustainable living. That's why we are for. And thank you very much. Thank you all those who plan for this. And it's just the day one. Let's meet tomorrow and also on Wednesday. And we are very sure that we're going to end on a very high note. Thank you very much.